Channel. Today I want to share with you guys a Japanese fashion haul. So it's been about three and a half months since I've been here and I just wanted to share with you guys some of the things that I've accumulated over my short time here. Let's get into it. So one of the first items that I wanted to share with you guys is this choker necklace that I got from Harajuku and um, the material of the necklace is this really nice velvety material and this detailing here it's got a pearl with the gold upside down triangle it's just a really nice simple piece and I thought it would go really nice with any simple outfit um, to make a little bit of a statement and I just love anything with pearls so I fell in love with this instantly and I believe it was only about 500 yen, which is really cheap. Um, so yeah, my cute little necklace right here. Ta -da. So this backpack is from one of the shops in the department store near my home. Um, I really like how um, compact this is. It's quite small. Um, I just wanted a backpack for some casual day outings. Um, when I wanted to carry more than my wallet and a couple of other things. Um, it's really convenient. It's got two pockets inside so I can put some little things in here and more big stuff in here. Um, what I love about this is this little ribbon detailing here and it's quite sturdy so it's made out of quite good sturdy material and this um, black and white stripes here kind of reminds me of the piano. Hi I'm back! So the next item I wanted to share with you guys that I needed to go get from all the way from the entrance um, are these pair of cute booties. Um, I don't own anything like this. I really like the lace up here and um, the colour is really interesting. It's sort of like a, um, like a dark olive colour. So I thought it would go really well with any outfit and something a little bit different from black. Um, and it's got a zip on the side so it's really ouch. It's really convenient to put on and off and um, since it's got thick heels and a bit of a platform, not that you can see that much, but um, yes, it's really comfortable to wear and it's really well cushioned inside, so it's comfortable to wear. Um, this was about three to four thousand yen from a shopping mall called Ario near my house and so I thought it was a really good buy. Okay, this next item is one of my favorite buys from Japan. It gets me excited every time I feel it and touch it and see it. Um, it's this scarf right here. And this sort of reminds me of the um, Burberry design um, scarf. And it's a really, really nice material. It's soft. It's oh, everything you want on the scarf. Um, this was originally about 8,000 yen, which is quite expensive for a scarf, um, but I got it for only 2,000 yen from um, Kamakura. And this is quite a big scarf, so you can wrap it around and it'll keep you warm. And what got me is this tag, where is it? It's got a tag on the scarf that got me. It's. I don't know if you can see this. It's Italian made. Milano, Italy. And so the fab the material is really nice and um, Italians know what they're doing when they make scarves. So my favorite piece right here. I love it so much. The next item is something I found um, on the way home accidentally. We were going grocery shopping and my mum suggested if I wanted to go have a look in the shop next to the grocery store so I was like yeah sure why not and I happened to find this really awesome knit dress like this it's got a little bit of slit on the side which I really like it's quite feminine and a little bit longer at the back and the neckline is a 
sort of baggy turtleneck sort of thing which is really nice it keeps me warm without the scarf and um, I really like this ribbing detail detailing down the center um, this was only 1,500 yen I kid you not um, I think it was it must have been somewhere around New Year's that I bought this because it was really inexpensive. This is one of the first things that I bought when I came to Japan. Um, this is just a, I don't know what this pattern is called. I'm just going to call it checkered for now because I don't know, I don't know, I don't know. Um, so it's just a mini skirt like this and it flares really nicely. Like this. And um, the back has it stretches a lot and um, so if you eat a lot it's okay um, yeah. and to go with the mini skirt that I showed you previously I bought this top together with it so that I could coordinate the outfit um, easily and this is just a plain white long sleeve top like this um, you could wear it off the shoulder if you wanted to um, it's a long sleeve and um, the top has like this ribbing detailing which sort of gives off that knitted material sort of look and what really got me with this top is that it's really simple right but at the back it's got this cute little bow so if you turn around you can be like hi so yeah I'm bringing sexy back and during my stay in Japan, I bought another pair of skirt, but this is a little bit different from the mini skirt that I showed you before. This is a ta -da, mini mouse skirt like this. It's got a cute mini mouse hand in the pocket. Um, this is sort of like a mid length skirt, like this. Little mini logo there. And at the back, it's got a little pocket with mini mouse on it. Yep. And what I really, really liked about this is not only it's Minnie Mouse, um, it's it's got really nice material inside. So it's got this really soft um, fleece sort of material lining inside. So it's actually really warm. And um, yeah, I kind of struggled to decide whether to get this because I didn't know how to style this sort of skirt. And I didn't want any top to cover this pocket part because I think it's just like the cutest thing ever um, but it was only 1,500 yen and I was like girl yeah I should definitely buy it so I did and so to go with the mini skirt mini mouse skirt I got a jacket which looks like this it's sort of like a khaki grayish olive color and the inside is orange, which sort of looks tacky, and I don't really like it, but hey, we can't get everything we want, right? Um, this was only 2,000 yen, I believe. It was 50% off, so originally it was about 4,000 something yen. Um, so I thought it was really inexpensive, and what I really liked about this is that it's, so I don't know if you can see this on camera, but it's short length here. So if I wear this with the mini mouse skirt, it, it does sort of hide the, the hand in the pocket, but it's, yeah, I thought it would go well with it. And it, and it kind of does. I just need to find a really good top to go with it. I've just been wearing long sleeved black shirt, just plain black shirt with it. Um, so I need to find something, but yeah. And the um, hood also got, it can come off because it's got buttons, so yeah, for 2,000 yen, I thought it was pretty good. And the next item is another Disney character. Dun dun dun! Hello Kitty! It's just a plain Hello Kitty hoodie. Like this. With the pocket in the front. And I really, really love this Hello Kitty. It's got heart there. She's wearing glasses. It's so cool. Um, and what I really love about this is that it also has really nice fluffy material inside so when you wear it you can just feel really nice um, I don't tend to usually buy hoodies with like the rough inside I always buy hoodies with the nice fluffy inside and so um, this was a really good buy and I love Hello Kitty I love it 
Oh yeah, and the this hoodie was only 870 yen. I got it for under 1,000 yen, y'all. That's really inexpensive. That's some bargain right here. Okay, this video is probably getting really long because I'm just talking, but I really need to show you guys this cute shorts that I've got. This is a just a red, like a wine red sort of um, shorts, like this. And it's got elastic at the back. Um, and that's about it. There's nothing special to it. I just really like the colour and I thought it would go really nice with any um, anything really. I usually wear this underneath that um, knitted dress that I showed you guys before. It doesn't really show but you know how it's got that slit on the side um, and you can see a little bit of the sexy red so I thought it was really nice. So, yeah. And I promise this is the last item. Well these are the last items that I got unless I forgot something. Anyway, um, these three items are all tops and I got it for, um, I got it during New Year's and it, they were having some crazy sale. It was like, um, if you get three or more items, you get 50% off on each item, which I thought was like, really crazy. Like, really good. This is the first one I got. This is um, just a really plain white top with this beading on the neckline, which um, shows off that femininity within me. Um, just kidding. And um, it's got a really nice um, lace trimming as well. The, this was one of the last items that I picked out um, out of the three. I was just walking around the shop for like an hour thinking, oh my god, I don't really particularly love anything, but I just want to find a third item so that I could get a good bargain. And this is the thing that I grabbed, and I am actually not regretting it. I really love this top. And the second top I got is this um, sweater looking long sleeve top like this. Um, it's got a really nice collar here. Um, it's got some beads, pearl beads, and this little dangly bit right here. So I really love this top because you can just wear this and anything on the bottom and you're ready to go, you know, you don't have to accessorize too much. It's a top that I usually tend to grab with like plain black pants and some heels. So it's a really nice top. Oh, and the color's really nice too. If you can tell, I'm into this color right now. This is the color to have. And lastly, I got this buttoned up shirt right here. It sort of like, it looks like men's shirt. I've seen this on like Instagram and Pinterest and Tumblr and whatnot, and I really wanted one like this. And um, it's just blue and white stripes. And um, it kind of looks like pajamas on me sometimes when I don't wear makeup, but it's really pretty and I tend I would probably style this with just plain pants black pants white pants and some pumps it would look really cool so that is probably it for my fashion haul I might have some things in the washing machine that I forgot to add but um, I hope you guys enjoy this video and I might do some um, Japanese beauty haul as well so if you're interested please give me a thumbs up and comment down below so I can talk to you guys and subscribe so that you can see this face again. Thanks for watching and I'll see you guys later.